What's up, what's up, my subscribers? So, this is HD News Tech Care. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below before I start this video because it really could help get my channel up and going on the YouTube platform. So, sorry for not uploading for a while. I had a kind of. If you don't know Jester on YouTube, you know that 3 a.m. challenges and all that. I don't know what to say, but um, he does 3 a.m. challenges during the Devil's Hour, well, as well as Hype Mike Graphics, who is in Canada, and they share a house with a couple others. And then um, I joined Jester on Facebook, so he, you know, like, you know, he's like, all right. He didn't really accept me, but enough to, you know, follow me on Facebook. Which is not friends, but you know, enough to be aware of my Facebook account, and. Um, my dad gets a call from him because apparently my dad's phone number is on his Facebook account. And mine is too, but I kind of hide it in a way. But uh, Jester calls, you know, when, you know, wanting to move in in a way for probably, I don't know who it was, the kind of Jester it was and at the moment I wasn't thinking. But then I got more confirmed from last night that it's definitely Jester from YouTube from 3 a.m. Challenges with Hype Mike and uh, Graphnix. Because I had a dream about Graphnix Evil Twin last night claiming them coming here. Um, I wanted a confirmation like that for a while because I knew I was being deceived in, in the spiritual realm while I was asleep. I knew I could see something that was f red flags and false. And um, I'm aware when I'm asleep. And one of those dreams after my dad was talking to Jester, about Jesse, I mean, of course, it was like, you know, like, rent, you have to rent it. And then he's like, you know, telling him, like, possibly my next day off. And he said he could be here Wednesday. But then I had a dream, I think a couple of days ago, and it would be, his plane would be delayed in Canada, by the way, because they're immigrants. They come down here, they had to apply for a visa, whatever. And, um, at that point in time, I thought they would not come. Because they saying they weren't going to come because of I don't know what. But uh, they turned the opposite direction and agreed, apparently. And that's where you left next. Um, showed up, but not in the physical, in the dream. Not really showing his face or anything. Just black background. Claiming to come in a matter of time down here for them to come. Which is... If you don't know what your evil twin is, go look it up for day station, like I am day station, and jesters, you know, the jester YouTube channel, 3 o'clock in the morning videos, as well as so with the Graphness channel, which is kind of like a dark demon, you know, with the hood, with the red eyes, darkened background picture, you know, and Hype Mike, which is awesome, hype is channel on the internet as well, and hopefully he doesn't catch that. Hopefully I'm fine if I say that, but, um, yeah, I did have a dream about that. But then I had a dream about... Um, that was a couple of days ago. It's like I did have dreams about them coming down here, Jester, and them being prepared and ready to get the house, get the house cleaned. Um, things like that. If you don't know what the 3M challenges are, it's during the Devil's Hour where you actually can call your evil twin who is the opposite of you, and it's just pure evil. And uh, they show it on their channel, and it does work, and I'd rather not dare it <laughs> for my own sake and my safety. But the Lord did, come, you know, calm, you know, calm me down. It's like, just don't worry. I'll be there in a way that I know someone was talking to me. Like, you need, don't, don't need to worry about this because I know I have anxiety with evil things. But the Lord will watch out for people like me, you know, just once you sign on to the Lord's name as your own Lord. <laughs> It's finished. And you'll still watch after it. You just got to be good. So, um, they get lucky at times. And then they had an issue, I think, in the last few videos. And they haven't posted. Like, Hype Mike and Graphics have not posted for two weeks on their channel. And I do have notifications sent on all their channels now. And, um, except for one for Jester. But the real life of Jester for Jesse. So, I was shocking to wake up in the morning and like I think it's like three o'clock or four. 
to know that I didn't really, the person, whoever was talking to me to confirm this, of them coming, I don't think they said my name. They knew, apparently, where I was. And just explained that they're coming. Which means, if you have, if they move, if the real persons move here from a different state or country, the evil twin and the vulnerable people will come in their own dimension to this location or wherever you live or wherever you had the dreams about them coming to help out and all that. And um, that dream or two was to explain that, that they're coming and there's nothing I can do. But that's fine. That's completely fine. Guess I'm prepared. They carry holy water just in case one of them gets possessed. And I'm really Catholic trained. I am psychic to a point where I will predict something. Like I'll have a strong feeling. And this goes back years when my dad's friend actually died from a TV accident. And I was able to have a really strong feeling when I was camping in that July of that year, 2011, in the Kansas City, Missouri, up north, that something was going to happen terribly to Mark. Clark, my dad's buddy, who was a doctor in Kansas City who had a nice big house, and the family just sold it in the last year or so, because he's been deceased since 2011 in August late. He actually went down Bruce Springs to get his, I think his daughter's like, thing to fix, you know, the tools to fix the ATV, and when he was going downhill, it flipped and then completely crushed his body, and um, the kids were there shocked shell shocked and um i he passed on right to, at that point and he's buried up there he's from this location from southern Illinois, from decoin and my dad grew up with him and he always gave me free medicine regardless you know and um it's a thing to miss of him but i miss him every day but you know think about it we will join together one day in heaven when the lord comes back and it's liable to happen but then it says about someone who was registered, like I said in the last few videos, about um, predicting something which is true in heaven if they are told and they come down here and tell you that someone would come down south, which finally made sense because I knew I had no chance of doing that to go down to Florida, which is still unsolved. But then them confirming in these dreams and then having this possibility explains it, basically. From... 2013 in October when this prediction was made, he met me on a break, and you know I was being respectful and all that. He resurrected, he glowed, he didn't have the same body mass, you know, just no blood. There wasn't none of that's allowed in heaven, and um, because it's cursed, basically we age and we're just mortal and we gotta obey it. We gotta watch for his coming. And the Lord said he would be down there. Someone would be down here, I guess, or down there before the Lord comes, before his mighty coming, before his mighty wrath, by the way, and in his good coming, the rapture, everyone who believes in him and who has repented of their sins in a way. And he did comfort me. He did kind of com com like help me. That knows he's gonna tell me like someone to tell me that you know above that they're gonna watch after me when this when all this gets through and um, if this is a high chance of this actually happening and making these feels to the you know excuse me the heavenly round can protect you by the way you know Lord most likely there's no one higher than Jesus as the Lord of everyone and everyone's got to bait, bow down to him. It, regardless, because it's the Father's Son, the only Son who died for the sins of this earth, and that my heritage of Italian is Catholic, by the way. This is Italian village. That's where I can show it on YouTube as a video and still get monetized in the future when I want to. It's basically one of those options on, on Google. So, um, yeah. So yeah, it's shocking, but we'll see if this does occur. This is most likely because my state is basically flipped upside down with our governor and then trying to, um, he's being watched, being looked at to, 
for a fraud for his mention for removing the toilets just to avoid tax as well as trying to force higher taxes on us and refuse to give us our funding for this outbreak of this virus for the people who lost their jobs or unemployed like my you know my family right now for some of them and that able ones basically like there's a lot of businesses shut down my parents was one of them but it's basically uh, can't work basically you know there's no uh, shoppers there's no one buying things because uh, no one can go out and there's the same home order and then the judge challenged the governor which is by the way his family is making profits huge profits off this testing for this virus and uh, we just confirmed it. I mean, we I looked, and it's like, oh, my God. Pricks are, oh, my God. And he's Jewish, by the way. So, you know, and there's just, I mean, look at the videos. Like, oh, God. This is definitely not. If you know the Germany back in the Holocaust and all that, they're, they're showing this on protest. Like, I don't want to put that in the video regardless. But it's not good. And um, he's breaking the Constitution of Illinois. And he might wind up, he might be in jail before he knows it, basically. Like the rest of the governors, you know. He's trying to raise taxes to force, you know, like, he's trying, he's trying to extend the same home order. But then he broke his same home order with his kids and wife who went down the Florida in their mansion. And then he left the state to Wisconsin just recently, so he broke that one, too. And um, there's a judge challenging him when he's trying to extend this home order. But there's a judge filing a lawsuit and others too to say, hey, um, they're breaking your law. You know that, don't you? You're breaking the Constitution and it's against it. It's treason in a way. And he owns all the... He owns the, Hilton, the Hilton hotels. All of them. Be so rich. Um, from Chicago, he's one of the Chicago billionaires, and uh, I would kick him out, <laughs> literally, if I had a chance. If I was in control, I would just say, "Hey, I know you're, I know you need to make money, but you're going against the law. You're one of those my boy bitches again, and we don't want that. And this is why the seat's so bad. We're literally, we're literally flipped upside down. Their website wasn't working for weeks to get an appointment." checks for being off work because they can't work and they gotta stay home regardless he's even willing to punish businesses from opening up too early which is against the law I think if I'm right as I've been hearing a lot of things he's been doing some of them have been against the constitution of Illinois and he could be judged so right now and there's there's a lot of people filing lawsuits for this same home order which is completely bogus and we're the only state in the United States that still has restrictions. And each stage is 28 days, and we have to stay under a certain threshold of infections. I think we're on, like, stage two, and there's, like, stage like five stages. And they're even planning to never open the state back up. Unless there was a vaccine, a good treatment, or a mark in your hand. As we've been seeing, like, possibilities for Bill Gates. And, um... Yeah, without much money, he probably could do it, but if the judge rules out a lot of his things, those will not happen. Hopefully not, but uh, it's what's predicted in the Bible, and I'm hoping that the Lord's on our side to defend us against this evil regime of what he is and the rest of the government. I mean, Trump, he's even getting shot out against Trump, Trump shot, you know, shouting him out because he's so doing something so illegal, you know, with his state. You know, it's how it is. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below. I was trying to record this a few times, and then I had audio trouble with my built-in microphone on my Mac. It apparently went out. And then my uh, ringtone went off. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to copyright with the audio. So I just remade the video, basically, and saying, hey, these, 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 these things are possible to occur in this location. And that it's perfectly fine. I mean, if I get to get my channel up and going, that'd be better. And so my mom told me, you know, get ready. Sometimes there's some people coming over to stay 
over this week. So, uh, and then this confirmation in the morning when I was sleeping definitely shows the light of truth, what's going to occur. And that was all planned before I was born, basically, folks. Like everyone else, the Lord knows before you're born what's going to happen, what your future is. It doesn't matter. So thanks for watching. See ya.